Tell me something. You think we can make fun of James Anderson on the show? No, na. I thought as much. We're rolling. Why don't you tell me we're rolling, yeah? Hi, my name is Anu Menon, and you have tuned into the latest episode of ESPN Quick Info, the Chatter. It's been an eventful week with bat and ball. In fact, so eventful that at the time of recording this, I still have no clue as to who's going to be eliminated in the IPL and who's making it to the playoffs. The trophy is like that attractive friend in your group. You think you have a chance of taking out to a movie, but so does everyone else. So, what do we have in store for you today? For starters, we look at Sir Jadeja's celebration of the season or lack thereof. James Anderson goes blonde, Ravi Ashwin's greed to bat, why Australia uninvited Bangladesh and more. So let's get started. CSK played RCB recently and one of the teams spectacularly collapsed. You know which one. A big reason for that was Ravinder Jadeja getting to bowl for a change and getting Virat Kohli bowled first ball. It was such a big moment, even Jadu did not believe it and reacted like this. You know when you publicly run down your colleague only to realize he could be your future boss? That feeling when you find a bag full of cash at home but all the notes are now demonetized? And when you get a phone call at a wedding reception and your spouse catches you at the dessert counter hogging away gulab jamun. Poor Jadeja. You should start investing in mutual funds now. And speaking of reactions, we're not quite sure how to react to James Anderson who appeared for Lancashire in a county game with his hair coloured like this. Platinum blonde is the exact colour of this new hairdo, I'm told. Hardik Pandya, are you listening? Look, the thing is, I'm not going to poke fun at England's highest wicket-taker ever who has had an end named after him at Old Trafford, yes. And India's touring England soon and he's going to trouble all our batsmen, so no. No saying that he may have lost a bet, not even mentioning that he's having an early midlife crisis or that he's preparing to distract Kohli, nothing, uh-uh. The name's Blonde, James Blonde. Looking good, Jamie. <laughs> nice. Next up, we have Ravi Ashwin, engineer and MBA who plays cricket, South Indian who captains a North Indian team, off spinner who bowls leg spin, and guess what? Last week, the man, the myth, came out to bat at number three in a game against Rajasthan. Which means that by now in T20s, Ashwin has batted in all positions except number 11. Yes, he also opened the batting once. You know, he doesn't look like a bully, but he may be the kind of guy in your street, the one who does what he wants because he owns the bat, ball and stumps. What's next in store, I wonder? Batting left-handed, fast bowling, keeping the wicketkeeper in front of the stumps. <laughs> you never know. News from Cricket Australia is that they had invited Bangladesh for two tests and three ODIs in August, but now have uninvited the Bangla bros as it's not commercially viable. <laughs> like, ouch! I don't think that's the reason though. Because the last time Bangladesh toured a foreign country, someone damaged the dressing room. <laughs> Wonder who? <laughs> Shakib angrily decided to disrupt the game and there was a whole lot of this... this nagin dance. Thing. So, you know Bangla bros, don't be shattered. Everyone is allowed to like their expensive glass doors and windows, no? And finally, Mumbai Indians have retained their impeccable record against Kolkata by beating them twice this season as well. Now, I'm not going to tell you why and how and all that, but all I'm saying is, it's been a while since Shah Rukh Khan's team has beaten the Ambani's team. To be precise, the last time Kolkata beat Mumbai Indians, this guy was just a businessman hoping to be president. And this guy did not know how to pose. And I, no, no, I look the same as I do now. <laughs> Shut up. Who said that? Who said I'm looking old? Your face looks old. Why are you still rolling? This can't go on, no? Okay, I'll see you next week. Bye. So unprofessional, just really unbelievable. I have one grey hair. 